Hey, this is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about a game called Life Siphon and my favorite mechanisms in it. Life Siphon, it's been a while since I played it. This was the last game that I played before self-isolation and quarantine began. So, um, but there are two things that really stood out about the game that are fairly memorable. One is that Life Siphon is a multiplayer head-to-head -head game where you win if you defeat the player to your left. So we have the board here. It is a, uh, a board with your life counters, your life tracks that are actually on the board. We played a four player game. So each of us was trying to defeat the player on our left. This by itself, I thought was really, really clever. Um, I'm sure there are uh, dueling games that have tried to do this, uh, like games like Magic, one-on-one -on -one games um, that, that are typically played head-to-head -head that have tried to use this format. But Life Siphon does it really, really well because it's designed from the ground up around that idea and that you need to defeat the player on the left, but the game ends when any player is defeated, when every, any player has zero life. And so not only are you trying to defeat the player on your left, but you're also trying to prevent the other players from dying basically so there are times in the game where you might be helping other players not the player to your left but the other players at the table just so that they stay alive long enough for you to, to to defeat the player on your left and that i think is really really interesting the other element element that plays into this that is part of this ground uh, foundation up uh, ground up design element um, of a multiplayer dueling game is that uh you, you only have one resource in this game, and that resource is your life. And so as you are putting units on the board, as you are playing cards, you are spending your own life to do so. Um, one of the famous, I think, phrases in Magic the Gathering is that the only life that matters is your last life. Um, and that, is, that feels to be the case in this game too, in that you are spending life throughout the game to, to play these resources, these, these characters, these, uh, these cards, to improve your ability to win. Um, and you might drop down, you might spend enough to drop yourself down pretty low to losing your life, to, to having zero life and losing the game. But um, it's okay, it feels okay at times to spend all that because you're improving your board position. As long as the player to your left can't take you down to zero life, um, so if I know that on, on my next turn or that this uh, the player to my right, if I know on their next turn that they can deal eight damage to me, um, then I know that I could have nine life. I could end my turn with nine life because they can only deal eight damage to me and I can be down to one, but that's okay. I get to survive. I get to keep on playing. And that I think is also really clever that you have this one single resource that you're spending throughout the game and, uh, and that you do feel like you can spend it freely. The, the game doesn't make you feel like you need to only spend one or two. You won't win if you only spend a, a life little at a time. Um, you, ne you need to actually spend it throughout the game. Uh, but it really gives you that feeling of I can spend a lot um, as long as I can spend calculate the right amount that I that I won't lose if I spend too much. And I really thought that was that was clever in life saving. So I'm curious if you've seen any other multiplayer head to head games. So uh, three plus player games that feel like head to head games. I'd love to hear about how they do it. And if you can think of any other games that only have a single resource in the game, that is also the win condition, win or lose condition in the game, lose condition in this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that as well. Um, or if you've played Life Siphon and you have any other uh, favorite mechanisms in this game, I'd love to hear them in the comments too. Thanks.